Hey there, and welcome back to Season 2 of Inkbound, the Starship of Terrors. Uh, this is the roguelike action strategy game by Shiny Shoe, in case you're not keeping up with all of the stuff I'm doing. And yeah, we are playing another run. So I've played a couple runs in between here and the last episode, and I wanted to test out a few things to see how they worked. There are some new challenge modifiers that I needed to look at and just generally to test things. And I think the current state of challenge modifiers are really punishing. So I think there are some rules that we're going to have to follow. Things like I don't think a melee class can ever physically take gunk filled as an example. I think there might have been some instances where it was okay before, but I think presently it is really dangerous and just basically throwing your run, right? I don't think you can reasonably do that. You're going to get absolutely sandwiched and rolled, especially against bosses that spawn ads, which are, you guessed it, almost all of them. So one thing I did want to test, and I figured I would actually record for this one, is I wanted to test Spike's Obelisk. It's the next one that we're moving on to. So when I say that, I'm essentially saying there is a trinket that they added called Essence of Quillian. Spiked is more likely to show up in drafts. Maybe good, maybe bad. It grants, whenever you gain shield, however, you gain one spiked. Afterwards, uh, you after you grant 50, everyone gets one shield at the start of each turn is pretty darn good in my opinion. I think there's a lot of possibility for strength here. So the biggest problem with spikes builds is that the hardest part is not generating spikes. It's not dying, right? You need to survive. So that will be the question that we'll see if we can answer in this run. But, but yeah, so we'll give it a go. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what we get today on our deep dive. This, I will say, just straight out, this is a much more difficult game than it was pre-patch. Some of the difficulty comes from a place of, it doesn't feel good in my opinion. Apply spiked 80 times, well that's gonna be my click, yeah. Runestone, cool. It doesn't feel good some of the ways that you lose. A lot of the, some of the builds, some of the aspects are just completely screwed over by certain mechanics. And I don't love that. Not a huge fan of that. None of these are particularly good. I'm going to take one extra stack of crush on Seismic Slam. It's something I'm usually pretty okay with. You gain two stacks there. KG's Cage. I gain, I can apply dazed to the nearest enemy. That's not terrible, right? Steady Tortoise is pretty low impact. I do think Steady Tortoise is pretty cool from a perspective of synergizing with later relics, however. But I'm going to take the cage. I think the dazed is going to represent more overall value. Final chapters, pacifism? Gross. I mean, it might have to be pacifism, though, right? As much as I don't, I mean, it is going to have to be pacifism. Okay. It's like I said, challenge modifiers. I think they removed heavy pockets, just straight up got rid of it, which is depressing because that alone makes the game considerably more difficult. I haven't seen it in mm, 12 runs. Yeah, 12 runs. I haven't seen a single heavy pockets. So I think it's gone, which is sad because that means all of the other ones are just brutal. It's a really hard combat for turn one. What the heck? Good grief. All right, well, we got rid of that goon at least. I'm going to move up here. I think I can get out of there. Or not. Although I am taking zero damage anyway. I guess I kind of don't want to be ensnared. That would be bad. Eh, shame. Okay. All right. Inflict dazed the quest. I did it. We're a genius. Okay. Can I hit this guy back here? All right. My goal orb. Jump, drop hammer. All right. And I take three damage because I guess there's really no way around it. Fine. The dazed here is going to represent a lot of value. However, this is the this is an area where I think we're going to feel a little better. Right. Taking zero on the turn, cool. 
he's gonna be permanently dazed because he is the last enemy. So that means I can get away with stuff like this, where I take zero damage, I get a crit, great, cool, zero. It would have been a lot worse. I'd be taking, I'd be leaking random damage here, which would be unpleasant. We get out of it, good job. Money, physical power. It's unfortunate because pacifism exists. Take increased range on shield bash, I suppose. The one thing I will say about pacifism is you basically, what, how you work around it is you either take nothing like this or you only focus on one. I think physical power I can get away with. So I'm gonna actually take it because I don't think the spiked damage is really the big win there. Even if I am planning, you know, eventually to lean into spikes here as best I can, which is going to res result in me taking restoration here, absolutely. Shield wall is of course good, but I think restoration is gonna represent more value. I will lose life and that will be permanent scaling in the sense of giving me life back. We go for money here. Never, never take the floor to hard combat. It is ridiculously difficult. And if you roll your treasure pot in this combat, it becomes basically impossible to do the treasure pot. So we just make better choices is what it comes down to. All right, our goal is to kill this guy. Good job, we did it. I should heal myself on this turn. I would like very much... Oh, they're resistant to physical, aren't they? They are. Well, that's unfortunate. In that case, we are just going to generate shield here, and I'm going to walk out of this. We take two, and that's just going to have to be okay. All right, they flipped. We slam... I take the orb. I charge. All right. Well, I'm taking five. It'll have to do. My spike generation is obviously quite bad. Oh, this is a terrible turn, isn't it? It sure is. We're going to just slam dunk here. I'm going to take healing because it's better. And then I walk out. We, we leak. Uh, it's going to be damaged through. These guys are brutal because of the timing of everything. But we get out of the combat, so it's good. I could have potentially farmed out an extra restoration. I don't think it would have been a positive swing, though, for me. I rolled a green crit there. We are going to take gain two shield on restoration. This is excellent because this procs the essence of Quillian. And I'm just going to keep taking physical power here because it it beats down the impacts of pacifism. I would like to spend money, so I am going to spend money. Turns out money is a resource you want to spend. If you have full HP, this I don't like this though, right? Ability power, it pacifism steel brella is going to be not wait they changed this on your first turn if you are oh wow they nerfed steel brella did anyone really think this was bad or too strong 50 percent. so if i'm weaker than 50 percent, i gain two shielding for the rest of combat this is terrible wow okay never mind i'm gonna re-roll this whole thing parsimonious power source did they change it? Let me read it. If your ability power is zero, you gain one will. Okay, that is a click. Great work. We did it. I'm going to reroll again. Stone Pitch Pipe is very good here. Yes. Although I do also like Braided Acacia. I deal 90 physical damage when hit. That's nice. Golden Egg. This is going to... I mean, considering I'm playing a Spikes build, this could be really strong eventually. But I really think the right play is Stone Pitch Pipe. It's a one cost discount. This essentially amounts to plus one will. And it reduces the highest cooldown binding by one, which is nuts. I think these are very strong pickups that I'm happy to have gotten. Cool. Now I feel strong enough to go after this superior vault. And yeah. 
This is why I don't think you can take that second second floor hard combat. You don't have any of these power-ups or anything like this. So you're in a pretty bad state. I need to kill this enemy. I don't like it, but I have to do it. We're gonna do big slam jump, then hit. I had to kill that enemy because it would have represented way too much damage for me, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to greed here though. Orb. Might be able to, yeah, I can actually, I can do better on the greeting here, I think. Okay, we don't get the kill. I guess I might have been able to do it with like the ale. I don't think I have enough damage to make that actually pay out. That's okay. All right, we take a we take a bit of a trade here. He gets away. We lose a little bit of cash. I'm okay with it. I don't think we've at least we've, we haven't put ourselves in a bad place in any respect though. So I'm not mad about this. In fact, I think I can actually get away with taking zero on this turn. I'll still click these because they generate the spiked, which I do think matters. And we're close to this, gaining that permanent shield benefit. So that's cool. I'm going to... I think I need to charge, unfortunately. Yes. And then we just pummel these enemies, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we bam, 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 orb, bam. We take two on the turn and we're okay with it. I've hit this permanent shielding point. Good. We get to heal, crush, I slam, I orb, I charge, kill the guy that does seven to me and then take zero on the turn. Good. I think we get away with this too. I can orb and then end turn because I moved for the orb first. I'm going to heal here. Okay, he's dead now. All right, just finish the job. Good job. Okay, we full healed on the combat and we've satisfied the essence's effect, which is good. On your turn, gain one physical power until end of combat. Softened Wispit fully offsets the pacifier, pacification effect, which I think is excellent. Yeah, I mean, that's that's happening. Okay. Softened Wispit, yes. I could also potentially just take five. This is better... This is interesting to think about. I'm almost certainly going to be able to proc Valmark here every turn because of the fact that I'm using Restoration. It's not guaranteed, sure, but I think I will. For a combat that is five turns or less, Valmark is stronger. Interesting. So that will be most combats except for Guardians, Elites, and Bosses and the Villain. interesting i that said even if softened wispet is stronger or rather valmark isn't as strong because it it wears off i'm much burstier in the most important turns the first turn so i'm gonna actually take valmark here and we're gonna be happy with that i gain frostbite excuse me what I might as well, I suppose. It's free damage. Weird. Is it good? Maybe not. I might just take more healing. <laughs> I don't actually know how I feel about this. This is an up roll, but the frostbite, I don't... I'm not going to take any magic power because of pacifism. I guess I could take frostbite relics, maybe? I don't see that being a thing. Hmm. More health is not bad. It does. I do need it for a quest. It's not that important for me, though. Shatter is probably better. 
because they attack into spikes. Yeah, it's going to be the Shatter, actually, because they attack into spikes and take 30% more spikes damage there. I think that's genuinely a better choice, so I'm happy to have taken it. I'm looking for either Sustain or Spikes here. Smoke Bomb is probably it. I actually think Smoke Bomb is excellent. I'm gonna grab this. I love this ability. It's like ranged cleave, but stronger. I can't get this Binding Empowerment. Pretty unlikely I roll into it in a meaningful way. The Free Binding Augment is still pretty good though, right? It's an uncommon. I could use that. I'll take it uncommon, actually. There's a chance I roll into it successfully for the boss, right? They could have enough money chilling. Who's this guy? What are you doing here, champ? Anything? You know what you want? Okay, fair enough. Elemental Ale is probably pretty bad. I'm actually just going to take this fish. I mean, the potion there. We'll see what we hit. On hitting, inflict eight stacks of bleed. Isn't this nuts? Also, Shielding Iron Clap, if you hit three enemies, you gain another shield. That's pretty strong, yeah? But I think eight stacks of bleed is absolutely outrageous. Yeah, I'm going to click that. That's good. Click the Refuge first. Then click the Potion. What potion is it? Barrier Potion, better than Elemental Ale here for sure. I'm not going to be able to get that because there's a Carver here. So we lose access to that one. I'm actually still glad I took it, though. That was a big pickup. On turn start, if you have 50% or less gain resistant, on gaining shield, gain one stack of Shattered Will. Did they get rid of? I haven't seen it, but maybe I just haven't rolled into it. I was looking for the you gain one shield whenever you Seismic Slam everyone. That was a good one. I don't know if they got rid of it, though. On gaining shield, you gain Shattered Will. Not bad. I'm going to spin this, though. I don't think it's great. Faulty Flask. What is Vigor? On hitting, restore one health. Lose one stack per enemy hit. On end of turn, lose all stacks. So this is just an annoying heal. Okay, sure. Annoying heals. Very common for this game. On gaining shield, smite the nearest enemy. All right, that's that's good free damage. Okay, I'll take that. I gain shield every turn. I spent a lot of money to get it because I re-rolled, but that's the nature of the game, so I don't feel bad. You never know what you're going to get. That could have just as easily been, like, parsimonious number two or something. So, anyway, this is going to look real bad until... Oh, but I love... I can't get this multi-hit, sadly. That's okay. I'm just going to kill half of these enemies by throwing a smoke bomb at them. Although I should really... It's days, right? Yeah, I'm going to... So in that case, we smoke bomb the boss. Absolutely. That's just a good call. That's a really good ability. I slam dunk, kill everything pretty much, which is good. I'm going to walk... Take the orb. I'm going to... I don't know if I mind this guy existing. I could kill him. I think I'm just going to damage the boss, actually, right? Yeah, just hit enemy, I think, is better. Cool. Hit enemy, feel good. Oh no, I took damage. It's fine, because I'm going to just restoration on this turn is great <laughs> enemies get smitten i love that bam bam it's actually pretty cool yeah i'm going to charge out here to take zero every time i shield i smite which is free damage it's not a lot of damage let me be clear but it's free and let me tell you how much i like things that are free smoke bomb the boss i don't want to take this damage Anyway, that looks like that's going to phase him right there. So, shield up and then chill. I've saved the crit seismic slam for an important turn, which is when the turn all the enemies spawn on. Cool. I feel pretty good about this turn. Yeah, we just basically kill every single enemy on this turn 
with that crit. I stroll up to the boss and we just slam dunk every enemy pretty much. Cool. Seems good to me. He hits me and I don't actually care because behold, I heal myself and kill an enemy. Take an orb. I may as well slam here, walk out of the damage and just do damage back. And then we'll save the smoke bomb for the next turn because it's pretty likely that I'm going to, yeah, because he's going to attack on this turn. Bam, bam, bam. Just going crazy. Just slam enemy big style and he completely goes down. That's actually pretty strong. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Also, claim rewards. Apparently I applied enough spikes there. Let's look first. Thunderous Iron Clap. On hitting, inflict one stack of shocked once per turn. This is completely new. Okay. I don't want that. That seems bad. No, well, not bad, but not good. Avalanche is pretty good, or rather not Avalanche. I'm going to re-roll this. Not Avalanche, but Earthquake. I don't love Earthquake here, but it's good enough. I should take it, is what it comes down to. Well, let's before we decide, let's look at our rewards real quick. What do we get? Yeah, Window to Eternal Longing. That's That's it right there. There it is. Gain health. I gain health in a lot of different ways on this run, as it turns out. I'm quite durable, in fact. Cool. Window to eternal longing it is. Good job. All right, so physical damage is the jam. Wait a second. They changed avalanche. Inflict crush stacks equal to enemies' frostbite stacks? That actually is pretty good. Cool. Anyway, I don't want to switch to magic damage. We go Earthquake here. I'm not risking the reroll on that because, well, obviously. I'm going to take Discounted Seismic Slam so I can actually use this more often. I think that is going to be a reasonable take. Sure. Cool. It's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. We'll move on. All right. I guess I'm at full health here. What is the fish? Fish of the day is ability power fish. Literally never use that fish. It's bad. Three physical power is good. Yes. More physical power. Good. What do we get? Gunk filled. That's how we lose the run. Ink shell. That's rough. I suppose we're going to take final chapters. This is runestone. It's possible I don't immediately die to this. I will take final chapters. Yeah, I don't love it, but I'll do it. The other ones I think are death, so. We're in a pretty good state as far as pacifism offsets go, which is nice to see. That is a good thing. Glyph Globe. I think it is going to be the Glyph Globe, although the Heroic Vault is probably pretty solid. Let's take the Vault. I have a spot for it. If I were more full, I think I would maybe take the Glyphs there. I'll get another opportunity, I think. Alright, we should, we should be able to send it on this without too much issue. We start with Earthquake. I'm going to throw Smoke Bomb. We kill them with just simply an attack. And then I kill them with an attack. Okay. We're feeling pretty good about that. I walk out of the range. I'm going to actually sit on this orb and not use it. I guess I will generate the shield from the spike for myself, though. Yeah, why not? Okay. Now, this turn is... Charge the bad man. Attempt to kill him. Grab an orb. We're going to heal because I guess you may as well. I'm going to throw the smoke bomb. I'm going to walk up to these guys and I'm going to stab them repeatedly. 
and we take one damage. It's good because I do offset this. I have to, people have corrected me. I do have to successfully heal in order to gain this. That does mean I need to actually take damage. That is true. I need to take damage in order for me. Yes. All right. I take two damage. I'm doing this intentionally in order to proc this. Yes. Okay. Am I at full life? Yes, I am. I need to take damage. The thing is, I can't just like spam my skills because they died of spiked, which is... I guess I could walk into... Now, hold up. Okay, so I walk in here to take damage? That's not permanent, right? No, no, no. Those ones, that, the gunks ones here are not. All right, I then heal myself. We're being optimal, okay? We... I have one health missing. Okay. We have one health missing. I could... End this combat. I don't want to end this combat, okay? We're trying. I'm working here to get physical power. Okay. I gained one. Take orb. What's the easiest way for me to take one damage? Perfect. Look at that. He attacks me and I take one damage. Well done, my guy. Okay. Now what? Is there a spot of safety here? There is a spot of safety. So now the question becomes, how do I damage myself? What's my current health? 48. So I walk into the goop. Wait. I have to damage myself somehow. Right, okay. I walk into the goop. Why does this not do self-damage here? Oh, it does. Okay, so I hit myself. This is bizarre as heck. I walk out of the goop. I heal myself. Apparently the combat's not over because I forgot he was spawning enemies, but that's okay. I should heal at the end of this turn and go up to seven. Yeah, I did. Look at me go. All right, and now at this point, I think we just kill one of these guys. I take one damage. I think I will. I think this is a heal as well. Is it? No. No, it didn't work. All right. Well, whatever. It's fine. On critting, gain three stacks of shattered will. That's a really strong relic. I've used that once. It's very good. Physical power, probably taking that. Plus four damage per damage resist you have. Bizarre. Shatter is always nice. Shattering whatever this is. Those are all pretty garbage, though. I'm going to actually re-roll this. Hexing Smoke Bomb. I am just going to make Prepared Restoration free, I suppose. I, I guess we can apply Frostbite. I could have taken Avalanche and done this. There's no guarantee I was going to see it. I'll make it free. It's fine. I am going to re-roll this trinket. I could have done Frozen Statue and the freezing there, but I don't think I wanted to. Also, not very good. I'm going to re-roll it again. Another Stone Pitch Pipe. On dealing bleed damage, gain a stack of vigor. Huh. It's not bad. It... I mean, it kind of procs the window for eternal longing. 
I really like Second Stone Pitch Pipe, though. I'm just going to take that, actually, right? It's just hard for me to look at that and not do it. Stone Pitch Pipe is good. Cool. I'm going to take Physical Power here. It's good. Make Number bigger. And we cruise. I think we're fine as long as... I don't have enough money for this Binding Empowerment. Sea Breach. Study is bad. I guess I'll take the freebie at least. I should have looked ahead probably. Does that count? No, healing yourself out of combat does not count, sadly. I will take on hitting three or more enemies gain additional shield. I think that's pretty cool for this particular build. All right. What is this? Mercurial. Absolutely not. Get out of here, you goon. I would like glyphs. I'm going to use them. Trust me. All right. Break destructibles, whatever. All right. Do a bunch of damage to me, my guy. I fear nothing. We hit. We throw a bomb. Killing basically everything. We go completely mad with power here. Sure. He's gone. Ah, yes. Wait. How much damage? I, I've taken one damage. Incredible. Huzzah. There it is. All right. Good job. I need to actually get hit. Which is kind of annoying to think about, but... Okay, this is okay, right? I'm taking three damage. This gives me something to work with. Sure, I'm just ending turn there. Cool, I took some damage. Oh no. I can win this combat with this earthquake right now. It's really hard for me not to click this. I'm just going to click this. You know what? I think that's great. I took some damage. I'm going to heal myself. Well done. I need to use a binding inside of this so that I take... Right, I take zero now, but I did take some damage, so I will heal, which puts this number higher. Cool, great. We're doing it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm just going to take this six and be happy with it, really. I I'm just accepting damage because I can always trade back this health later. I'm not really afraid of it. So let's just do some damage here. Three is fine. I'm going to heal myself, though, real quick. Good to do it. And then we just press end turn here, I think. I'm going to actually kill that man. All right, that's good. Cool. Taking zero. I'm gaining healing here. Window to eternal longing is pretty strong as it turns out. We just generate shield here. Kill a couple enemies. Use this as an opportunity to gain my one health back. Cool. I gain one health back. We're at 15. Combat is over. Good job. Okay, cool. I think we picked up a lot of value there, so I'm pretty happy with that. They keep showing me physical power. I mean, I actually feel like I want to take spiked damage instead. Because how much damage does my spike do? That's a good question. I don't actually know. Oh, does it say anywhere? It does not? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. All right, I'm not going to question it. Inflict frostbite. I have no damage resist. This would actually be good if and only if it gave me damage resist, right? In what universe do they think this damage resist thing that's actually fairly hard to come by, that should be that should be the theme of this ability, uh, this augment. I'm going to take the mending restoration just because I'm I may as well take it. I need it for a quest. I don't see a need for it anywhere else. I I think I think the physical power is just better than the spiked damage, just genuinely speaking. So it's a little annoying to say, but it's fine. We have window for eternal longing, so it doesn't really matter. What are these? D 
deal 400 damage in a smaller area. On defeating more enemies, deal 400 damage again at that same location. That's cool. That's cool as heck. Deal 200 damage in a large area. So same area, we get dazed. And it inflicts marked and gives precise. Ooh, interesting. This is a cool ability. I'm going to re-roll that. I don't want any of those. What the heck? Deal 400 damage and 100 damage for each shield you have? This has to just be because my damage is so high. This is just because my physical power is so high. I'm looking at this like, excuse me? How much damage is that? I don't actually generate that much shield, I don't think. It's kind of funny. I'll take Battering Ram. It makes things cheaper. I love Battering Ram. I could buy a Legendary with this money, so I will attempt to do it. Maybe they have it. Give me something good. Leaky Pen? It's not terrible. It's actually quite good, in fact. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Sure, why not, right? Why not take the leaky pen? Cool, I'll click it. May as well get rid of this cage. All right, cool. I will take Heroic Vault. Man, I would take some money if they had it. But I'll take the vault. Maybe I'll find something really cool in here. And I think we are set. I think we have actually achieved transcendence here, as I like to say. I kind of feel like we're strong enough. I don't need to do too much nonsense here i can i could greed for damage and i don't know do i have full health i do have full health i don't know just kill everything fine right it's fine yeah i'll take four damage fine you got me okay heal yourself cool take an orb take an orb we just crunch this. Every, everything is gone. Okay, well, we did it. Good job. I think the right play is attack the enemies. I'm just going to take this two damage, and then I will heal it back next turn. Cool. Seems good. How much health do I have right now? I don't feel like taking a million damage. I'm going to kill these guys and let these guys attack me. Because if I, if I actually... Yeah, I have to actually take damage in order to heal it, right? Cool. So I can heal it. I am taking... I'm currently at full health. I'm taking four... Sure. I take three, no problem. Take an orb, take an orb. I heal. It's good. I take five, it's fine. I'll trade this in exchange for permanent healing and power. It doesn't matter to me. I guess I smote him accidentally. <laughs> Whoops. It happens, I suppose. On collecting an orb, gain ability power until end of combat. Don't click this. You know why? Because I have parsimonious power source. On your first turn, gain spikes for each damage resist. That's a pretty good front-loaded amount of spikes, actually. It's actually pretty good. When you think about it. Getting one shielding is also nice because it does immediately proc the smite. And kind of starts things moving. This is what? 10 damage reduction. And then 20 spikes. That's pretty solid. Yeah, sure. I'll take this. And then I'll put it over. Where is it? Valmark. At this point, it's like, oh no. Valmark. Whatever. Max HP. Unnecessary. I'm going to actually take spiked damage at long last. I feel like I probably should have done that earlier. Shattering smoke bomb. 
pretty good to have Shattering Smoke Bomb. That will just kill enemies much faster on turns where I don't have Earthquake ready to go. But Earthquake is going to be very fast. We're going to move fast on Earthquake. Yeah, I'll take Shattering Smoke Bomb. That seems strong. Add more Shatter to my floor. Another shop. I'll take the Shrine, actually. There's no reason to go ham here. Let's see what we hit. Three physical power. I mean, again, it's hard for me to skip this, even if I already have an obnoxious amount of physical power. What, what animal? What is this? Serendipity? I almost called it an animal. I'm going to get rid of the puffer. I'm actually going to eat the puffer. Hold up. The puffer is a bad fish. We don't need him. Let's move on. I think we've got it, right? I've managed to pull off the spikes run. Not of destiny. I don't think this is that good, but... This is pretty obnoxiously strong when you really get down and think about it. My opener here is very good. And then I can just throw... I just throw smoke bomb at a bunch of stuff and we're, si we're sitting pretty. I charge at some guys. Seems pretty good. I take an orb and what? I walk up to enemies and kill them, basically. Pretty much. Take an orb. Oh yeah, I may as well just charge them down. Might as well get that kill. Seems good. Oh, and I can heal, actually. Sweet. One health healed is permanent scaling. So we're, we're chilling, is what this tells me. Yeah, take the orb. We're gonna earthquake for sure. I'm gonna charge this guy. Oh, and I immediately phase, actually. All right, cool. We're actually ridiculously strong, by the way. It's easy to look at this and go, haha, no big deal. But truly, we do a lot of damage. Just a truly obnoxious amount. It takes so long for that phase to swing. It is ridiculous. Anyway, here's Earthquake. Cool. I'm going to charge and kill a guy. I'm going to throw... Yeah, whatever. I'm going to throw some goop. And I think I can actually charge and kill that guy as well. Eight damage. Oh, no. It's fine. I have a lot of damage from Spiked here, actually. Is that what's happening? He hits and he... That's bleeding, isn't it? It's a combination. I think it is, anyway. Good grief. Anyway, I'm going to end this combat right now because it seems good to do it. Cool. It's, I mean, that's basically where we're at. Just, just so much damage. Regeneration is one of the most obnoxious ways I can auto win this run. As much as I want to reroll and look for the spiked iron clap upgrade, truly... I don't see how regeneration is not just a free win. Wide spread smoke bomb. Target all enemies. Yeah, I'll click that. Sure. That seems fun. Who's this guy? Why is this guy standing in weird places? I don't actually know why he's doing that. That's, well, that's a quest. It's a quest, isn't it? I bet someone's been yelling at me about that. 10 movement per turn. I'll actually take... Four spike damage instead. I don't really care about movement in this particular build. We are too strong. And I think it's going to look similar. You summoned a slimp? Who are you, my guy? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just going to kill that guy, I guess. I really don't see a reason not to do... Oh, it targets everyone, of course. <laughs> nice. Very cool. I don't see a reason to worry too much about it. I, I, you can greed really hard for damage here. And you might go, ooh, it matters. But does it? Does it actually matter? I think the answer is that it does not. Then we hit everyone here. We actually kill the, ink, the captor lookalike real quick. And I'm reasonably certain we just absolutely sandblast the rest of this combat without much concern. 
Whee! All right, combat is over. Thank you, Obelisk. Very cool. Four more spiked damage. I'm actually just going to... It doesn't matter. I'll take spike damage because I feel like that number being better is good. Charged shield bash seems nice. Sure, why not? I don't think the crush from this is going to do too terribly much. It's actually... You know what? The crush actually does a lot. Never mind. I changed my mind. On hitting, inflict crushed. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is going to be better than the unstable circuitry that I've held on to forever. Wait a second. What is this? On gaining shield gain spiked? Oh my god, it's the porcupine. He's too powerful. I've changed my mind. The porcupine is my new best friend. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's huge and he looks cool. What a cool lad. All right, I'm going to... Porcupine has suddenly redeemed this run in my eyes. He is the best. The Fountain of Creation. I'm going to skip that. If I buy the Unstav, what do we get? We actually start with even more... Ooh, that's interesting. What would I even get rid of for the Unstav here? Would I get rid of a pitch pipe? I could. It's not bad. Ah, I think I win either way. Let me be clear with you. I think we're good. But it would be real fun. No, I don't really care. I actually don't care. We just move on. It's fine. <laughs> we have the winning combo. Don't mess with it. I don't think Runestone stands much of a chance here, so yeah, he's gonna he's gonna land in and he's gonna have a bad time. Is basically how this run is gonna go. So I'm cool with it. We'll start with a very a very solid days everything, followed by an earthquake, followed by regeneration, and I'm we're gonna clap, I suppose. Just everybody clap your hands. That, 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 whatever that song is. All right, I'm just going to charge the boss and hit him in the head. This seems good. I'm completely defying everything. I'm standing in the middle of all of his attacks, and I do not care. Earthquake. Let's go. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam. I'm gonna phase you, you loser. All right, I phased them. I am taking 26 da 28 damage. I should probably not do that if I'm being real with you. Okay, I'm taking zero damage. That seems nice. Much better. Good job. Take zeros. Grab an orb. Earthquake. Cool. Can I hit both these guys? I sure can. Kill them all. Excellent work. You sure regeneration? Why not? Take zero damage. Kill everything. Seems good to me. I can just let this guy punch me. I don't actually care whatsoever. <laughs> that is a, that is a statement of fact. Yeah. It's cool. I, I'm just going to let him do his thing. It's fine. You have fun, man. You have fun. All right. We're going to walk. I'm going to just earthquake this out. And I feel pretty good about it. I just charge in. I'm pretty sure I can phase him here on my own. Cool. I did that. Anyway, here's regeneration. I'm being so haphazard here. It is extremely disrespectful, and I am very here for it. Enemies take 800 damage just for attacking me, which is, you know, that's a mood. Daze everything. Earthquake everything else. Let's charge the boss. And yeah, that's cool. Seems good to me. Just do a bunch of damage. All right, uh, we're like uh, you can see how strong we are. I really don't have to overthink it. It's easy to get in the, the mindset of "Ooh, I could make a mistake," but can I really? 
I don't actually think it's possible for me to make a mistake here. I guess I could have died on that turn. I could have actually passed away there. You're right. Instead, I won the run. That's fine. I think we got it. I'm, I'm good with this. How this ended up. Is Window for Eternal Longing good? Yes. But really, it's all about the porcupine. This was, this was so much fun. I love porcupine. I'm glad we got to use him on exactly one combat. Seems good. I'm putting him in the thumbnail. You can't stop me. So... Yeah, that's Obelisk. It's solid. I feel like this worked out in our favor. I've got to tell you, though, Smoke Bomb. You might be sleeping on Smoke Bomb. This this is so good. It's got Hex. It's got Shatter. It hits everything. It applies Bleed. It applies Dazed. It's big AoE. It's targeted. It's just good. It's also physical damage. This is like Cleave. 2.0 it's actually I, I think cleave is still better i would argue for certain things but i think smoke bomb gives good competition i'm a huge fan of this binding i've drafted it so many times and i've never been disappointed so that's pretty cool but but yeah otherwise i think this really came down to earthquake and just tons of stone pitch pipe nonsense and what parsimonious is a energy relic leaky pen it's good stuff. Um, definitely this, I mean, it's all about window to eternal longing and window to it's armored porcupine. I like window to eternal longing is a really good one for thumbnail, for like episode titles, because I can come up with stupid stuff like window to armored porcupine or armored window of porcupines. That's pretty cool. I like those. Those are fun. Anyway, I'm going to let you go there. We had a great run. We're sub one hour. It's great. So, uh, so yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.